sometimes I do wonder why I do what I do. And I, I can tell you, I've always wanted to build a good practice, to take good care of patients. But as we'll talk about in my story, that 2013 was a turning point in my life. Th everything changed, everything turned upside down. I was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer in April of 2013. That was not part of the plan. We had some plans in the works in our lives and that did not fit. That changed everything. It started off surgeries, six months of chemotherapy, and you really have time to contemplate, what have I done with my life? What if my life is going to be cut short. Am I happy with what I've accomplished? Have I really <laughs> fulfilled my potential? And those are questions. Right now I've got some really great staff and I know that you've met some of them and, and none of this happens without them because the experience of a patient coming in starts literally in the parking lot and to the person who checks them in, to um, the girls in the back, whichever provider might see them. And so it's, it's a total experience. I remember when this journey kind of started, the girls in my office, you know, they're, they're kind of like, okay, we did it. We figured out um, how to take on this workload. We, we've arrived. And then, then we hit a new level and it becomes chaos again. And then, I mean, I have some great staff that work in the office and they, everybody ups their game and we hire new staff and, and we figure it out. I don't dread my days, I love my days. Sometimes I don't know how I'm gonna accomplish everything I'm supposed to do in a day, but you know, the hours pass and the time goes by and somehow everything falls into place. Honestly, work is one of the things that saved me. It, it gave me a different focus other than thinking about my mortality. I discovered how much I really love my job. I love work. I love taking care of patients. I want my patients to walk in and feel like they're being well taken care of. I want to try to provide, there are a lot of good providers in this valley and you know, all of our goals is just to provide the best possible care that we can. That's what this office is trying to do, is just personalized care so that a patient feels good about themselves when they, certainly when they leave. I'm thankful to have my health back and honestly, physically I'm probably in better shape than I've ever been in my life because I've taken the opportunity to be alive and I realize how precious it is and I don't want to waste it and I think that sometimes as awful as cancer and chemotherapy was it can motivate you it's almost like a, you you get to cheat you get to you get to feel how good it is to be alive and to feel and to to have emotion and to have all of those things that you take for granted every day I get to do that and I get to appreciate it every day and I think about that, how awesome it is to be here and to be alive. Day in the life of the average OBGYN. All right, thanks, guys.